Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Um, yeah, hey, what's up? How you doing? It is the Thursday stream. I'm super excited. Today I'm doing waffles. I'm doing stuffed waffles. I'm doing stuffed waffles that are stuffed with your ideas. Uh, so I'm very excited. People sent in such great ideas. And I'm ready to go. I'm just finishing up the waffle batter. Uh, so I'm going to keep finishing that while I talk. But this is just flour, sugar, the usual batter stuff. Um, yeah, if you're new to the stream, what we do is we hang out uh, for a little bit. I just cook some recipes. First time I've ever made these. And um, yes, it is happening again. It happens every Thursday. And we just hang out and have a good time. And I want you all to tell me if you need me to do anything differently, if you have any other ideas. If you, uh, speaking of which, Rich, you're here now. Is this loud enough? It feels like not that loud to me. But um, yeah, just follow along, enjoy, and we're going to hang out for about an hour while I do some fun recipes. I have to crack these eggs. <laughs> You sound fine. Thank you. Good. I'm glad. Have a lot of milk here. A third of the way up. Oh, you're watching at work trying to be quiet. That's good. That's good. Uh, we have some really fun recipes today. I'm doing four of your suggestions. I'm having trouble with the eggs already, so that's good. Uh, so some of the suggestions that I got, <laughs> no coworkers. Um, your plants might get mad if it's too loud. Some of the fun suggestions I got, one was um, a Monte Cristo, which I, I do love that idea. But, you know, I was thinking, like, I just want to make everything stuffed in the waffle, whereas a Monte Cristo is like French toasted after. So I didn't want to add that sort of French toast element after making the waffle. Um, tons of people said bacon. And there is going to be a bacon uh, one today. Rich, who's here, suggested uh, strawberry Oreo, which we have kind of a history with the strawberry Oreo flavor. We have, Rich thinks he invented strawberry and Oreo, and he calls it strawberryo. Is it strawberryo or strawboreo? Where does the strawberry end and the Oreo begin, is my question. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that one. I have, I think what I'm going to do for that one, I, well, I, what I am going to do for that one, is put the Oreo into the waffle batter. So we'll do that last, I think. And one of the best ideas that I was, I'm spilling this everywhere already. Stream's going great, guys. <laughs> Um, one of the ideas that someone said that I was super excited about is uh, putting freeze maple syrup and put it in this. <laughs> and so that's been kind of fun trying to figure that out, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, apparently maple syrup doesn't freeze, which I didn't know <laughs> before I started this. But I have a technique and I'm ready to do it, and if it works, uh, we'll see. But that's why I love uh, my followers on various social medias because you come up with such crazy, cool, clever ideas. Frozen maple syrup. Like, who would have thought of it? You guys, that's who. All right, this is about ready. Feeling good about it. And once this is ready, we'll really get down to business. 
This is one of those things I wanted to have done before we started, but <laughs> a lot of things happen during the day. Now we get to make waffle batter together. So if you saw the video from earlier this week, that's why we're doing this. The wonderful stuffed waffle iron. Georgina and I got together, we worked in the kitchen, we made some really cool waffles. Um, we had a great time. You can check that video if you're on Facebook or YouTube. It's right there for you to find. Probably the, just scroll up a little and you'll find it. And I asked you guys to come up with some clever waffle ideas for me to do on the stream today. to make use of this fun stuffed waffle iron. <laughs> this isn't a Lady Gaga Oreo stream, it's a stuffed waffle stream. <laughs> no, but um, they are fun, but those aren't the ones I'm using. Those are a whole different flavor. So I wanted to do like regular uh, Oreo flavor for this one. All right, so first, one of the best suggestions, again, I, I chose my favorite, right? Is it the best? I don't know. So it's, someone suggested all different cereals like Apple Jacks, uh, peanut butter, Captain Crunch, all that stuff. And one of the suggestions was Lucky Charms, which is the best cereal. We all know that's the best cereal. Uh, so, to me though, in, instead of just like putting cereal in, which in my opinion might have been a little dry, I made a Rice Krispie Treat of it. A Rice Krispie Treat, right? I guess it's a Lucky Charm Treat. So, I thought that would be a better filling for this waffle. We will see, we will see. So if you didn't catch the other video, this thing's awesome. It has this cool thing to help you take the waffle out. And it's nice and deep so you can stuff it with whatever you want. Yeah, Mike, I thought it would be a better idea to do it with the, the treat instead of just the cereal. I think it might have been dry if I did it that way. A little bit of the waffle batter first, and then we're going to sink the treat right in here. Rich, you, did you get my uh, discount code? I mean, you can get your own. And that's the same for everyone. The discount code is there, so if you want to get your own one of these, Check my discount code. Chaffle. What's a chaffle? <laughs> I, I probably can figure this out. <laughs> Cha. So what I do love about this also is that it's just, um, you know, it's its own thing. You do it right on your regular stove. I have so many things that just have, a, have cords attached to them, I, I can't do it anymore. It's very important to me to have tools that kind of like work with the other tools instead of just filling my cabinet with some bulky tool. A cheese waffle, yes. Uh, enough fat in your batter. So I haven't even tried using it without the um, spray, only because I don't want to like have a mess. But I, you know what? It is very nonstick, and I haven't really done aggressive spray. So I, uh, I think it probably would work without the spray. I'm normally not a, sp a cooking spray person, to be honest. Um, and I haven't been for years. But I did buy this like 
this um, non-aerosol sort of like all natural cooking spray. And I have honestly been enjoying having it. Like it, it, it's a nice thing to have. I do smell some burning, but I think it's the, uh, it's my cooktop, not actually the, the waffle itself. It's not. Ah, thank you, Georgina, for the link. Very important. Eggs, cheese, and almond flour. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it would work in here. Anything that would work as a normal waffle would work for this, definitely. Has my stomach ever growled loud in public? Of course it has. It happened a lot more when I was a kid, like in school. I'm not like in public that much anymore since I work from home. <laughs> in public. I mean, if you're like at a restaurant or something at night, it's loud enough that you're, no one would hear your stomach like that, right? This is almost done. Caroline. Yes. Uh, you know, that was a big suggestion. A lot of people said Thanksgiving leftovers, put them in this. And I love that idea, but my brain is like so far away from Thanksgiving right now. Like it's, uh, I didn't want to make a whole Thanksgiving feast just to put the leftovers in here personally. Uh, Rich, I think like you could have milk to dip this in. But also, that's why I did it as a, a treat instead of just a cereal, because I thought the marshmallow in there would sort of replace the need for the milk. This is actually uh, expanding nicely. Feels good. Almost there. My cord keeps getting stuck on the cabinet, so I'm going to have to try to fix that. <laughs> Right? Like, I mean, I guess we could have had a Thanksgiving dinner last night. <laughs> but uh, I didn't think it was necessary. With Buckeyes, so like, just a ch is that just chocolate and um, peanut butter, really? Like a donut? I should know this now that I live in Ohio. <laughs> but we're still new Ohioans, so don't be too hard on me. This looks great, honestly. So we're going to do it now. The marshmallow has like stuck to this a little bit. We're all good, though. Great. Uh, Caroline, if you didn't see the comments over here, Rich says he misses you. You guys are on different platforms <laughs> trying to chat. <laughs> oh, there you go. You did see it. You didn't need my help. Perfect. You know, bringing people together over here. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Can you see? So there is a little bit of waffle batter in here which you do have to watch out on this, especially if you're putting something dense inside. Um, you tend, you want to like cook it pretty low. However, it's mostly cooked. Just a little bit of batter right here. You got a lot of shine on this. There you go. That's a little better. It's a rainy day here, so the, the lighting's like real weird. All right, very good. 
Also, after the stream, I'm heating all these up, and Georgina and I are going to have a little feast. A waffle feast. That's what happens after every stream. <laughs> Not a waffle feast, just a, a regular feast. All right, so next one, we're going to do the breakfasty one. So, oh, <laughs> just burning things. see how these are. Actually, that might work. So anyways, let me go back to that. A lot of people suggested hash browns, which surprised me. Uh, a lot of people said bacon. I liked that idea. And I even bought hash browns. And then I was like, why am I going to do hash browns when tater tots are sitting right there, right? Uh, yeah, Rich, you could make them non-stuff. They're very thick. You need you need to make sure the batter is very light so that it's like airy inside when you're doing it. Protein waffles. You always do protein waffles. <laughs> I mean, that's like a thing, isn't it? Put some whey in there. So... My plan for the breakfast waffle was not just to put the tater tots, not just to put the bacon, uh, but make a soft boiled egg and put it in, in an attempt to have the yolk be runny when it, um, when it comes out of the thing. So we'll see if we can get that. So I do have burnt tater tots, but that's fine because the extra crispiness might uh, serve this well, honestly. <laughs> These burnt tater tots are cracking me up. Keep almost moving this, but we're going to need it later. Don't worry. All right. So I just, the key is to get everything pretty much ready. And that way, once you put the batter in, you kind of have to like move quickly. You can see in the video we made, we're like, Standing there ready. I think at one point I'm like, ready for action. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little batter. I'm going to put the cheese in first. And then I'm going to put the soft boiled egg. And then I'm going to put the hash browns around here, the burnt hash browns. Uh, don't worry, Gina, I have some bacon for you. I saved you some. This is like a nest I'm making for this little egg, which is kind of fun in its own thing. <laughs> Great. So now the question is, will the egg Will the egg finish cooking, or will it be perfectly soft when I pull it out? Very greasy bacon hands. Uh, yes, Rich, I think it will be very good. 
I will say, I should have put more cheese in, <laughs> right? I got nervous and just had to keep moving. I was worried that the egg actually wouldn't. Um, need to turn this down a little. I was concerned that the egg wouldn't fit if I put too much cheese at the bottom. So. Let's see. I, um, this is going to cook for a little bit, and I should start. Um, yeah, a little more cheese. Um, I'm going to start thinking about what my next one is. Next one, I should do strawberry Oreo last because I'm going to like ruin the batter possibly with it. So I guess next is going to be the syrup one, and that's going to be a, an adventure. <laughs> we'll see. But like I said, syrup doesn't really freeze, but I kind of have sort of frozen it. The real maple syrup definitely doesn't freeze. Um, it 100% stayed fully liquid. But fake maple syrup did a pretty good job at just making sure I'm not burning things. The fake maple syrup did a pretty good job at almost freezing. So um, I have that ready to go. And what's going to happen is I'm going to just try to jam it in there uh, right after I put the batter in. Um, I think what I would do next time is maybe mix something. Maybe mix something more freezable in with the syrup, and maybe it would freeze a little better. But I'm not sure what I would do because I was thinking like water. Why would you do? Why would you want water in your food though? Um, maybe like milk. I guess I I don't know. I don't know what you would put in there to to make it freeze better. Also, I was worried that it would stay super cold when it, when it came out. You know, you don't want it to just be like <laughs> ice cold syrup coming out of your waffle as you're eating it. Uh, so we're going to see what, what happens with that. It's very viscous, but it's not... Um... Hey, Pam, welcome. It's very viscous, but it's not a frozen disc. So I have a plan to kind of hopefully just get it out into the waffle. Uh, this one needs another couple minutes. And I can also crush Oreos while we're here. Why not? For the last one. Uh, I'm so glad people suggested, well, people, by people I mean Rich. I'm so glad that Rich suggested this because I just love having Oreos in my house. I never would buy them for myself, but they're um, one of my favorite things to just snack on. I used to get a big bag of Oreo pieces when I worked at the, uh, the ice cream shop. That would make this a lot easier. You can also just do it in a... Uh, here, you probably want to see. Yes, they're vegan, so it's the salad. It's like eating a salad, really. I mean, I wouldn't say healthy just because it's vegan. I may, there's vegan nachos in my nacho book, so. If you were wondering, these were the um, Oreos that Gina was talking about earlier. <laughs> Very fancy. Basically healthy. Healthy-ish, right? Isn't that a thing? I guess I should just get all the plates out. You would think this is my first stream today. One whole Oreo. No, I, wa I wanted the, um, 
I was thinking that the batter would be Oreo. Do you, am I ruining your vision? <laughs> oh, you like it too. So should I do that instead? Should I, let's take a vote. Anyone who's watching, should it be broken up Oreos in the batter or should it be a layer of Oreos in the center of the waffle? That's all I want to know. No one will vote. 19 people I see. Anyone? Anyone? I know the comments are a little delayed. John would have an opinion if he was here. Vicky says whole. Al says broken up. We're, we're, we're even here. A dead heat. Whoa, Ryan, mixing it up here. Broken, but in the center. Um, you know what I should do is make the next one while this cools. Then I have something to do while the other one cooks. Yet again, you know, it's like my first day here. First day on the job. All right, this one is the, is the weird one, but I'm ready. Bacon with syrup. Well, I mean... It, I would put syrup on that breakfast one. Oh, Christian finally showed up. All right, I'm hesitating because I'm scared with the maple syrup, but I just have to do it. I have to be ready. I have to be focused, and I just have to do it. I use the top of a, of a bell jar to freeze the syrup, and I'm going to try to uh, pop it out with the, with the end of this. So... You know, we're going to see how it goes, but it's not frozen solid. It's still somewhat soft. So this is how it looks right now. <laughs> and we're moving. We're in motion. I think I should put a little more this time. Look at this, not really, oh, might be. What's everyone think about that? Do you think it's going to work? Is it actually going to be a layer of syrup inside? We will see. Sorry about the noises. Ha ha ha, good one. <laughs> It's happening. Uh, I mean, the good news is we'll we'll see. We'll figure it out. A hot mess, but will work. I don't need this anymore. That's good. Mike, you missed Caroline. I mean, Christian. <laughs> All my plugs are still plugged in. Uh, thanks, Rich. Yeah, 
I mean, there's been burnt stuff on the burner since I turned it on. <laughs> wow. The yolk, though. Yes, Mike is here under his pseudo name. This is very good. I will say I was concerned that the egg would cook, so I really soft boiled it. And it could be um, a little more boiled. <laughs> uh, thanks, Brian. I know it looks perfect, but it's a little it's a little under. It's good though. It's good. How many times did I flip this? I will say the burnt tater tots work because they were very hard, and now they're like soft and crispy. Soft and kind of crispy. All right, enough eating sounds. <laughs> it's really good, though. I hear noises, and it's making me wonder if the syrup is all coming out, and it looks like it is. Look. Can you see that? You know, as it heated up, As it heated up, I think it's like uh, the syrup is like expanding in there and looking and kind of like bubbling and looking for a place to go. And it's easy for it to break the surface of the, uh, of the waffle. Thank you, Jose. Jose? Jose Goofy? <laughs> Rich. The whole point of the order is that I wouldn't have to clean it each time. I can't remember what we decided. <laughs> if they should be in the center. I think, I guess the center. More people had voted in the center. I'll just eat up. I'll just eat those broken ones like it's cereal later. The thing about putting whole Oreos in the center is it will help the strawberry to uh, exist in the center and not just like be everywhere like the syrup is. So, you know, I guess that makes sense. You all were right. I was wrong. I get it. <laughs> Luxury. Uh, well, thank you. If you want one for yourself, one of these luxury waffle irons, use my coupon code to grab one. And there's a link on my website for that. And Gina put it in the chat somewhere up there if you, if you want it. Maple compound butter. See, Brian, where were you before? Where were you before? I mean, I only had like a day to um, 
kind of come up with these recipes based on everyone's suggestions. I guess I could have like figured that out if I had a little more time. The butter makes sense though. I was like, what am I gonna mix it with water? No, I don't even boil things. I don't like any water in my cooking. <laughs> Anything that calls for water, you can use something that's more flavorful. Beer, exactly. Beer, wine, milk, <laughs> um, gin, whiskey. Like, get be creative. Water. Rich, I, I'm leaving it because I keep being concerned because one the first one I made was a little um, raw in the center. So I've been, wait, you're just anxious for me to get to your waffle. Like, let everyone have their moment to shine. Raw is not Lux, exactly. I already got the plates. Look at that. The question is, is this soft still because it actually has syrup inside or is it soft still because it's raw? Important things to think about. Because it still definitely is a little soft. The only problem is when it's upside down like this, more the, the, the other thing is the syrup was so cold that it's going to prevent it from, prevent the batter from cooking too. So a lot of implications with this waffle that you have to think about. Rich, no, it's not fine. It's not fine. Stop. <laughs> Let the other people have their turn. <laughs> no drug filled waffles. No thanks. All right, I just took it out anyways. We'll see. So I'm going to make the other one first. Yes, the clamps. The clamps are where it's at. You're late, man. Late. All right, I have regular just strawberry uh, jelly in here. Love that close-up of my arm, huh? Look at that. Very happy about how that went. <laughs> I think one thing that's important too is like really covering um, 
when there's a soft filling like that, you really have to cover it with the batter so that the batter can form around it and the softness won't just like leak out. Yes, it will be huge. It will be um, expanding as it cooks. I think this is pretty undercooked in here, just so you guys know. <laughs> That's my guess. Yeah. So the, what's happened here, I'll let you see. There's a very distinct amount of batter in the center there. And what happened was the, the super cold maple syrup but it wasn't frozen, so it mixed with the batter, really cooled down the batter around it. Um, so all of that batter, like the outside of this is, is super hot, but I can put my finger right in the batter and it's like not even hot. <laughs> and this waffle is in there for like way longer than the other ones. So <laughs> we have a few wins so far. But the frozen maple syrup not, is not a win. And so far, to be clear, I've made uh, like 10 different waffles with this waffle iron. And this is the first time that something I literally just threw in here didn't work perfectly. So it really is, um, it really is awesome. <laughs> no, that's not a brag. That's saying that the waffle iron's awesome. It's not me, clearly. <laughs> uh, Rich, yes, this is already expanding as you thought it might. It's very full. And, you know, we're going to let that cook a little bit. I'm going to do like four more minutes, make sure that it's definitely fully cooked. Um, last guns, yes. You didn't comment on that comment I made earlier, and you just let that one slip by, but now you're bringing it to my attention on my live stream. Um, uh, anyways, what I was going to say is, today we did Lucky Charms, number one. Awesome. We did the bacon tater tot cheese with the soft boiled egg. Awesome. We did the frozen maple syrup. Didn't, didn't freeze, nor did it cook. So that was a fail. And then we have our last one here, which is strawberryo or strawberryo. Did you ever answer that question, Rich? Is it strawberryo or strawberryo? Did I say four years? Four minutes. Uh, the reason I kept thinking of breaking up the Oreos is because the way that, well, Oh, so airy, strawberry, oh, yeah, got it. So it's not boring. <laughs> um, the reason I kept thinking of breaking up the Oreos is because when I used to make the strawberry ice cream at the ice cream place, it was like cookies and cream with a strawberry swirl. So when I think of strawberry my brain is focused a lot on the... Uh, I'm like the cookies and cream aspect of it. I also think a lot about that comic strip you made with Strawberry o, which wasn't funny at all. But it was funny to us because we liked it. Uh, this is getting there. It's almost done. But I still want to wait because of the trauma of the last one. <laughs> it looked like, um, you know, it just was, it wasn't pretty.
can't wait to eat the, these waffles after. I have them all just like in the fridge ready to go. Throw them in the oven. Add a little extra bacon, some syrup. What is this joke from, Christian? I know I've heard it before. Now this is the same thing. Oh, from Drag Race. Uh, this is the same thing in that it's very soft and I'm not sure if it's soft from uncooked waffle or from the strawberry jelly inside. We're gonna find out. Let me give it another minute or two. I'll take it off right at 420 for you, Rich. Actual strawberries, no, no. Strawberries are only good for eating. Homemade cranberry syrup, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mentioned, I did mention earlier, like I, a lot of people did suggest leftover Thanksgiving and I didn't really, feel, was, wasn't really in the mood to make Thanksgiving dinner in order to make some leftover Thanksgiving waffles. Um, a lot of people said ch fried chicken in like fr chicken in waffles, and I was like, yeah, I mean, obviously, right? But I just feel like the putting a beautifully fr piece of fried chicken in here would really just like kill what makes fried chicken good, juicy um, and crispy, and the crispiness would would be gone. But I, what I do want to do in, what I do want to do for this is a chicken parm. I think that would actually be really fun. Um, a chicken parm waffle would be great. Because also the crispiness of that is like a little different than fried chicken, so I think it would work. Um, you're welcome, Rich. What, what it, why did you change your tone a little bit suddenly? Yeah, the breakfast one was definitely, I think. Yeah, so Parmageddon, um, a Parmageddon waffle. I've been thinking a lot about Parmageddon and also like making a sandwich good enough to be called a Parmageddon. And I think it's, um, I think it's gonna be on slices of bread instead of a roll that, and the slices will be like dusted with um, with like garlic bread seasonings. All right, this is this has got to be ready. How many layers of parm? Probably just one. You really want to. Um, you don't want to like overstuff it. Um, make it when we visit. Dusted with the beauty of garlic. Garlic bread. Uh, every time these come out, I just love the, the height. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. I've used all my knives. I have one. Look at that.
If I took a bite of that, it would be molten strawberry. Molten strawberry. There's the slightest bit of batter on here, but it's negligible and it's hot enough that it's all cooked, so it's good. Damn is right. You know, I love the layer of, um, of cookies. You know, I could have put less, um, I will say I could have put less uh, strawberry. I could have even put a second layer of Oreo, which kind of would be cool to like frame the strawberry in there. But uh, this is beautiful. Alex is excited because there's finally something vegetarian. Actually, the, um, this is the most vegetarian day I've ever done in my live stream. <laughs> I just need to let this cool before I take a bite so I burn myself. If you watched our video, you see me take a bite of a waffle and burn myself, and Georgina is there like, <laughs> I can't do it yet. I can't. Too hot. Look at that, though. I can nibble. I should just put a ton of Oreos in here. I'm going to put Oreo and Oreo cream. Then it's like a meta Oreo waffle. Lives up to the strawberry -o name, definitely. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. It was a nice stream. Longer one than usual, but we hit all of them perfectly in an hour, which is awesome. Uh, if you want to make these at home, you can go to my website, find the link to the discount code to get yourself a wonderful stuffed waffle iron at a great price. I think it's 49 and then I give you 10% off on top of that. So really great product. Um, and it's been great having a partnership with them. Yeah, she's in a meeting now, but she's going to eat this right after. That's why I said we're going to have some right after. Rich, is that Luigi in a blue hat? What's happening? <laughs> I don't, don't compute. But yeah, so head there. Grab the link, get your own, make some of these really cool stuffed waffles. Thank you all for uh, sending in these super fun ideas that I could just like play around with, cook. And I love when I get a challenge like the maple syrup one, even if it works or doesn't, it's all uh, a learning process, which is awesome. So I will see you all on the stream next week. Until then, uh, follow me on whatever social medias you like to follow me on. Oh, and Gina posted the link again, so you have it right there. And I'll see you all next week.